Mr. Speaker, can the Prime Minister tell us who authorised the mission in Benghazi last weekend? Well, the Foreign Secretary set out the position absolutely in full in the House on, on Monday. But let me say very clearly, let me say very clearly, I take full responsibility for everything that my government does. Ed Miliband. Mr Speaker, I, I'm grateful for, for him saying that, and I want to support him on Libya wherever I can. But I, but I do say to him, I do say to him there is increasing concern about the government's competence on the issue of Libya. We've had the flights fiasco. We've had talk of Colonel Gaddafi heading to Venezuela when he wasn't. We've had overblown briefing about potential military action. And we had the setback last weekend. Mr Speaker, does the Prime Minister think it's just a problem with the Foreign Secretary, or is it a wider problem in his government? I'm not sure I particularly want to take a lecture from Labour about dealing with Gaddafi and dealing with Libya. I think the first thing we should have from the Labour Party when it comes to Libya, Gaddafi and the release of Megrahi is an apology, which we still haven't had. But when it comes to the issue of this government's conduct, we have led the way in getting a tough UN resolution on Libya. We have led the way in getting Libya thrown out of the Human Rights Council. And we've led the way in making sure the world is preparing for every eventuality, including a no-fly zone.